So we've been testing the way the trains work with the trackside infrastructure and testing the way that actually two trains work with each other as well on the infrastructure. That's a bit of a struggle we're in at the minute. Just a lot. We occasionally find little things that could be tweaked or things that don't quite work as we expected them to. And the good thing with that is that, well, either we can fix the system or we can build it into our driver training or our signaler training and also build up knowledge in how to use the system. Right, from that cool. normal stopping position, how far would you say it is to the front of this moment? Just down the yeah, we'll see that rim down for 10 metres. So generally we've been doing this testing at the weekend on nights and the reason for that is that it's less disruptive. We can finish the, on, on a Saturday night with a normal service, the last train runs and the first train runs in the morning without anyone noticing. In that time we can do that testing. So GTR's role in the testing is to provide the train, to provide the driver, the test train officer and an onboard engineer. We make sure that that train is available for whatever Siemens want to do with it to make sure that their side of the system is working correctly with our trains. Network rail are in the signal box at York to oversee what's going on and a lot of the movements that happen require input from network rail to make sure we can smooth the drive around the network at Finsbury Park. The purpose of the current phase of the testing is to take the ETCS equipment and put it in a live scenario it will involve a real train, real drivers and real signalers. What we're going to do is run through a series of uh, scripted scenarios which will allow us to see how the equipment responds and how the people involved respond. Can I go then? No problem, thanks gents. We do a test where we, we drive towards a signal and that signal then goes back to red and then the emergency brakes come on. And, and the, the benefit of that is we're testing the system behaves safely. That's hard for a driver, it's, it's, it's like a boxer naturally pushing himself into a punch <laughs> where they wouldn't want to do that. It's not a test you enjoy doing but it's a test you have to do as a tester because you need, you need to understand that the system's going to work and bring the train to a stand safely in those scenarios. It's very exciting because we're, we're doing things that are leading the way for the East Coast. Um, so we're now working with the other operators on the East Coast, l &E r Grand Central and, and DB Schenker um, for, on the freight side as well uh, to make sure that this testing goes forward onto the wider East Coast scheme and the lessons we learn here can benefit everyone going forward and, and when this technology rolls out onto the East Coast mainline it will be a, a huge change for everyone.